Pixers, hi YouTube, hope your day is going well. Like the title says, we're gonna be talking about some of the common mistakes that we make when shopping when we have a belly. So you guys loved my first video on the common mistakes we make when styling around the belly. Now with the new season, now I don't know if it's just me, but like at the beginning of a new season, I'm more inclined to shop. And if you watched my things we waste our money on video, I can't remember what I titled it, but you will know that one of the biggest things we waste our money on is clothing that does not work for our body, hence does not make us feel good, hence we don't end up wearing, hence it becomes a waste of money, right? So I'm trying to avoid that, all right? And I want to save you some time and some money. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about the things you shouldn't waste your money on when you have a belly. Now, I'm guilty of wasting my money on some of these things too. So this is a PSA for all of us, okay? Now, if you love to show off your belly and you have no issues, you know, it brings you joy, then go ahead, sis. You're absolutely, I hate to even be putting this disclaimer in. You can do whatever you want. And if you love your belly and you love showing it off and it brings you joy, then sis, go ahead. If you're new here, my name is TT. And on this channel, I cover fashion, beauty, and and lifestyle. So if that's the kind of stuff you're into, then sis, you have found your tribe. This intro is too long. Let's get into this video. So the first thing I'm gonna say to not waste your money on is what I call pre-tucked style. Now this is going to be exhibit A for you guys. And then I've got exhibit B for you guys, all right? If you're not new to the channel, you've seen exhibit B because I've complained about that dress for long enough. But essentially, these are styles that kind of have like a two-piece variation and most importantly, are clingy on the lower half, right? Especially if you have sort of like a fupa or you carry a lot of weight on your lower bellies. Now, bellies are not made equal. Some people's bellies tend to be you know, concentrated, most of the belly tends to be concentrated on the bottom, while some people's, most of the bellies tend to be concentrated at the top. And then some people just have an all around, like round belly. If you fit in the lower belly or all around belly category, then pre-tucked styles would not work. And I would say that would be dresses like this where the top is like a little bit voluminous and the bottom is a little bit fitted, okay? And I would even say some jump suits that have the same sort of silhouette where it's tighter on the bottom and more voluminous on top what happens is that it gets it's tighter on that lower belly area which tends to pronounce it and then I think what really draws the attention for me on this second dress is also gonna be the belt so if you have a belly you definitely don't want any seaming you don't want belt you don't want anything in the belly area pockets like anything that will really draw the eye to that area. So I would say don't waste your money on anything like this. Don't be like me, okay? Now I'm stuck with this pink dress that I'm probably going to add to a mystery box. Stay tuned for that. If you've been asking me about closet sales, stay tuned for that. Okay. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna say, instead of buying something that's super fitted, especially in the lower half or the lower region, I would opt for something that has like pleating instead of something fitted, right? You can do the pre-tuck style, but I would opt for a pre-tuck style with pleating, whether it's pants with pleating, skirts with pleats, that really helps to skim that area. I don't know how to explain it exactly. Pleats tend to add a a little bit more volume, which typically isn't the best when you're a curvy girl, but that additional volume means that fabric of whatever you're wearing isn't clinging to your lower belly, i.e. not drawing attention to the shape of it, i.e. skimming it and making it look a little less pronounced. I hope that makes sense, okay? That's why I am a huge fan of high-waisted trousers with pleats, culottes with pleats, pleated mini skirts, A-line silhouettes. All of that tends to skim that lower belly area and helps to de-emphasize and draw attention away. So don't waste your money on horizontal stripes. Anything that's going from east 
to west is always gonna make the area appear wider. You do not want to buy pieces that have horizontal stripes around the midsection unless your goal is to make your midsection appear wider. So if you're like a pear shape and you're small on top and you want the top half of your body to appear wider, go for the horizontal stripes. However, if you're not in that category, stay away from horizontal stripes because they will make your midsection appear wider. Generally, I would say really stay away from stripes if you are trying to de-emphasize a certain area because it's a print and it draws attention to the area. And if you're not trying to draw attention to the area, then I would stay away from stripes in general. However, if you have to do a stripe, then a vertical stripe will always be better than a horizontal stripe because a vertical stripe draws the eye up and down rather than left to right. Okay, now instead of going for a horizontal stripe, even a vertical stripe, if you really want to create the illusion of length, okay, and make the midsection appear even smaller, I would suggest adding a third piece, adding a kimono, adding a structured jacket, a biker jacket, any structured third piece will help to create that column, will help to create that long vertical column, which always makes the midsection appear smaller and the waist look a lot more snatched. No girdle required. Okay, the next thing you should not waste your money on is anything that is tight or clingy around the midsection. Now, obviously you're gonna need like layering pieces. You're gonna need like long sleeve um, waffle knit shirts or just long sleeve crew neck shirts. And those tend to be a little bit thin. But if you are a little bit conscious of your midsection, I would suggest that you opt for pieces that kind of like float away from the body rather than are clingy to the body. And and tight because all that's gonna do is really draw the eye to that part of your body and it's gonna make you feel a lot more self-conscious. Now, instead of wasting your money on something that's tight and clingy around the midsection, instead opt for pieces with brushing and opt for pieces like this with a drape. Okay, this drape right here, it's a magician. It's miracle, it's wizardry, right? Something about the cloth going east and west and west and west and east, especially if you put it at the smallest point of your body, just literally makes your waist look non-existent. Also, wrap styles do the same thing because it brings your eye to one corner and that corner typically is the smallest part of your waist and it really helps to create that V point at your waist, making your waist appear more snatched. Okay, so don't waste your money on tight and clingy. Instead, invest in drapes, in ruching, and in wrap styles. So the next thing you should not waste your money on, sis, especially if you have any type of a belly, you're self-conscious about your belly, you don't want people to see your belly, is low and I dare say mid-rise. Now, rise is really, really tricky because everybody has a unique body. We can all typically fit into some category of body type, but you know, you might have an extra roll that I don't have an extra roll. You can, might have, you know, extra bit of fupa that I don't have, and you may have, you know, just extra bits and pieces that mean that you really have to find that perfect rise for you. But from what I have seen, low rises are absolute no if you have a belly, okay? It just causes your fupa, your muffin top, your back rolls, it just causes all of those things to be front and center. And if you have a booty and you add that in, then you're like basically creating that thick line at the widest point of your waist and everything is like spilling out, kind of like a cone that's too much ice cream on it, right? So you want to instead for higher rise, and I know so many of you who have taken this advice and I believe someone said in the video, the last video or the before that really switching the rise of her pants has changed her life. I'm telling you sis, if you have not tried a higher rise pant, stop what you're doing right now. I'm gonna put links to some options for everything I'm talking about in this video for you to shop because I want you guys to slay this holiday season and look 
absolutely your best, okay? So definitely, instead of your low rises and your mid rises, switch to a high rise and see. For me, I know that I can only do up to a certain rise because any higher and I start to look kind of pregnant, so it has to hit me right at my belly button or slightly above. So you may have to play around with it to find that perfect jean or the perfect pant that hits you right where you want it. But when you do, buy multiples. I'm just telling you right now, do that. <laughs> so I have one more thing you should not buy when you're shopping around the belly. And if you've enjoyed this video so far, make sure to hit that like button really helps your girl out and actually allows more people to see this video and I know there's some women out there who this video would really help. So the last thing you should not waste your money on when you're trying to style around a belly is anything with a built-in belt. So the thing is, I've gotten comments from you guys about how to belt things, how to wear a belt when you have a wider midsection. And it can be tricky, right? My biggest tip would be to go with a higher rise because it pushes your waist a little bit up and the belt will probably hit a smaller part of your waist, which typically, which generally should make your waist look a little bit smaller. But the problem with pieces like this that have a built-in belt is that you have no control over where that belt lands and the last thing you want to do if you're trying to style around the belly is have a belt at the center and at the widest point of your belly okay it's just gonna make the circumference of your belly a lot more prominent it's gonna draw attention to the area so I would say say no to pieces that come with built-in belts you can wear a belt again like I said I suggest to belt things a little bit higher on the body because I think it will draw the eyes to the smallest point of your waist and make your waist look a little bit more snatched. So before I end this video, anytime I make videos like this, I feel like it's so important for me to share this. And it's that it doesn't matter whether you have a belly or not, what your dress size is, whether or not it's changed, what the scale says, whether or not that's changed. What matters, you are a sight to behold. You are worthy, you deserve all of the good things that life has to offer. Don't let anyone steal your confidence, steal your self-worth, because you deserve to be happy and you deserve to have all of the good things. Consider this permission to buy some new clothes, sis. Stop trying to squeeze into those old clothes that don't fit. Clothes are supposed to fit you, not the other way around. Get yourself some new clothes. Stop beating yourself up. Feel fabulous. You deserve to. After the year we've been through, you made it, sis. You deserve to. So when I am not on YouTube, you can always find me on Instagram. If you have any burning questions, maybe you're about to purchase something, maybe you're about to add something to your cart or you're about to check out, all you have to do is slide in my DMs over there. I typically check my DMs in real time. Also, make sure to follow us on the Like to Know It app because all of the items that I featured in my videos, I always link on there. And I love the fact that you can save items to shop for later you get price alerts when the items go on sale and the, you get there's so many other wonderful creators on there who share fashion home decor and so much more and you get all of that inspiration right at your fingertips and the best part is you can actually just shop directly from the app so no need to ask anybody where this and that is from right if anything that I featured in my past videos nine times out of ten will be linked on that app as well so yeah definitely if you don't have the app make sure to download it and follow me there today like this video so far give it a thumbs up so i can make more videos just like this also share this video with your girls okay because sharing is caring and we all want to look cute too until next time stay blessed